Lavarianam, I'm a fourth-year student at LCC. I'm a I come from Albania, the city of Leja. Lavarianam, I'm a regiment of I come from the north of Lithuania. I'm Kyle Lance, and I am coming from the United States. LCC is an international learning community that does more than educate students. They were not talking to me about faith at all, but they were so persuasive by their lifestyle that I actually looked at them and I'm like, wow. It transforms lives. Labas Rytas, mano vardas yra Simona Mačiukaitė. I am um, a professor at LCC. I'm Jim Menninger, I'm president of uh, LCC. Sveiki. I'm a full-time professor teaching uh, mainly management and communication classes. Labadiena, I'm Shesu Vitautas Sumbrasas. I'm an advisor to a president of a country and his representative in parliament and government. I think that I am a good friend of Lithuanian Christian College too. Lithuania's story is typical of many former Soviet states. Once an autonomous nation, Lithuania was overtaken by neighboring Tsarist Russia in the 1700s. In 1812, when Napoleon's army engaged Russia in battle, Lithuanians could only hope that a Russian defeat might signal their own liberation. When France withdrew, Tsar Nicholas I tightened his grip, initiating deportations, closing universities, censoring religion, even banning the language. Ultimately, Citizens were granted permission to use their own language, but this gain was overshadowed by the onset of World War I and Germany's occupation. During World War II, the Soviet Union took Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. Germany attacked and seized control. Back came the Soviets. When the tug of war was over, negotiations between Roosevelt, Churchill and Stalin placed the region in Soviet hands. The country's intelligentsia fled to the West. Lithuania lost 30% of its population to death, deportation and emigration. At last, many voices, political and religious world leaders and grassroots resistance created a providential tipping point of positive transformation. The seeds of independence and democratic reform were sown. Lithuania gained its sovereignty on September 6, 1991, the same year LCC opened its doors. We were just uh, emerging from the Soviet uh, system. We were just beginning to the transformation of the country from a command economy uh, in a dictatorial system. And uh, the LCC played an important role in that. The uh, LCC curriculum and the LCC teaching methods uh, produced um, uh, undergraduates uh, that were in, became, very soon became in high demand. LCC has provided students, who are future leaders, with genuine hope of transforming life in their countries. My dream now is to go back in my country and work somewhere in a bank, in a business agency, and um, try to um, to make something, try to change something in my country. My like education from here, I might like apply it to, maybe when I be go back to Kyrgyzstan, I might like help out with the education system. There's this education and this, everything that I have received and I have to share it with people back home because this is a place that has changed me in a whole different way that you wouldn't maybe get in other places. Uh, we didn't begin to gain any kind of uh, trust in the country until our graduates were out there. And the more they go out, the more they get into businesses and into government positions and things like this, uh, the more our credit, if you will, rises uh, in the country. I think I would like to work uh, as a professor at college or university. And so I am planning to go to graduate school after I graduate from LCC. I would like to be in the future, um, a CEO of a company or a 
ahead of the department where I would have to work at a place and leave them, but that's in the future. I know that I still have to work a lot for that and grow. Right now, some visionary leaders in Lithuania are promoting a return to Christian thinking and Christian values to make up the moral deficit of the Soviet years. I don't like to say that all things, what is in the West is a good and what is in East and Central Europe are bad. Mm, that's not the problem. That's not the problem. The problem is that really the people who lived here for 50 years under the occupation, they personally are not able sometimes just to start change all their life and start in totally different way to work, to think, to understand the education, to develop young generation. It is some impact from outside, I think. So the best sort of such impact of outside, I think, is Lithuanian Christian College. Uh, I can compare LCC with what, what is happening just now in our uh, system of secondary education. The best secondary schools are the schools of, of, uh, which are very tight connected with the church. That is what all the Lithuanians are starting to understand. And if we shall have uh, LCC becoming uh, stronger and stronger with the support of, of uh, North Americans, uh, we shall have uh, not, only, not only kids in the secondary schools but also in the universities who will have ability to, to, to base their education on those values which are so, so valuable for us. Until now, through the support of committed friends, LCC has lived up to its promises towards its students. It made me think critically about these same authorities, you know. It made me think how we could have our own opinions and made me believe in my strengths and believe that we could make an impact and that we would be listened to and that we could change something. To be honest and to be sincere, it's been all these four years, it has been such a blessing experience. And something that I will remember when I go from here, it, it will be not this place, the building or the chairs or the computer lab or something like that, but just people. They are great people. It's, it might sound really simple, but living indoor makes you so like shaped for life. Because you live with people from different backgrounds and every, like, every student has different like, worldviews or different like, cultures, simply. And it's, you just learn how to deal with them. What I love about LCC is that it's an international school and now I'm used to that, but I know that for other people it's such a surprise, you know, you have so many people from so many different places and you speak English and there are all these things happening and I don't even know if we have a proper word in Latvian for community, what that means, you know, when I'm trying to explain it to my friends at home, then I'm like, well, I can't really tell you what that is, like, you have to come and see, and when my friends come and see, then they get the taste and they're, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, you know. These Christian values that are promoted at LCC and that I uh, hear pr being promoted every day at LCC have also had an impact on me. I started think seeing that when you work, you can't just work for yourself. You have to also notice people who work around you. Maybe I still want to be successful in my career, but I just don't want to have a lot of money and, you know, be not happy because I don't have a meaning behind that. I have found my call. There are different helpful things here on campus at LCC that help people find their call. I guess student body, student life that works through developing other skills like leadership skills and puts a lot of stress on servant leadership that we're not just a business professionals or a theology professionals or English language professionals go in, into the world but we also have a certain mission. So as these students come to us from Belarus and Ukraine and various parts of Russia and Central Asia, Moldova, Albania, all of these countries, Macedonia, what we see over time is these people going back to those places and uh, inevitably they're going, to make, they're going to make a difference. For far too long, the peoples of Central and Eastern Europe never felt completely safe, never entirely secure never fully free. 
until now. And even now, there is no guarantee what tomorrow will bring. Lithuania and many former Soviet nations are embracing LCC and its North American supporters as an important friend and ally in a push towards Christian freedom for the next generation. Why is it good for Lithuania? In 1990, I would ask myself the question. Today, I'm asking myself why um, LCC is good for the States and why LCC is good for Canada. There isn't a school anywhere else that would be so experienced in functioning in a rapidly changing society and yet keeping the standards and principles of a North American school to the full. We can't presume on the future, we can only prepare for it. The excitement here is you are in a transitional society, in a, in a, in a society where the future is in a sense still not fully determined. It's being shaped right now. And, and when you're here, you almost feel like you might actually make a difference in some of their lives and, and in the future of these countries in Eastern Europe. Meeting people that came here that view themselves as truly free people meant a lot to me because when I would compare myself to them, I would pretty obviously, you know, could understand that I'm not quite free as I think of myself. So for me, I think there, the first two, three years was a continuous discover and amazement of what true freedom can mean. So I would say North Americans who, who are mission-minded and who think beyond simply their own culture and society, here is a chance to contribute to, to building a new future in the churches, and in the societies in, in Eastern Europe. While the cost of LCC is less than a fourth of most North American universities, the economic realities of this region are such that it is impossible for most students to attend without some assistance. For us, it's becoming more of a privilege rather than, you know, an open opportunity when it was before. We all knew that we are going to graduate from high school and all we had to uh, have its good grades and that's not very difficult and now it's more about funds and financial situation and I see a lot of people who would like to learn but they just can't and that's a pity. As one of LCC's founders, Art de Fer, said of the college's beginnings, it was a window of opportunity that opened and thankfully there were visionary people there to take advantage of it. Today, Another window of opportunity has opened for you to be a part of this extraordinary time in history. And really I am, have a great respect to the Northern Americans uh, for their thinking on this, on this way. From one side we having uh, globalization, which is the fact of our life for today. Uh, and uh, globalization include not only positive things, but also negative things. But from another side, we have people, broad-minded people, with big hearts who are understanding that they can use this globalization process. They can participate in the globalization process with a moral background, moral values, with a really taking care for others, not only thinking how to take from others something. So this is what is coming to us, what I understood from the Christian College experience, that such people exist, they are, and this is the salt of our life. Well, now I would say that God brought me here because um, this is the place where I became a Christian. And then I thought, oh, maybe it will be hard like, to remain Christian. Instead, I'm more like close to God. Now it's going to be probably very cliché. I know it sounds really, you know, transforming lives, but this is what happened to me. 